the computer will reboot but you do not hit any key now you only have to do it once per installation or it will restart all over again now what you see now is the automated installation this part usually takes around 30 to 40 minutes depending on how fast your computer is a huge portion of this installation has already been cut off and edited so that you do not have to wait it is not this fast so please don't be mistaken I will only go through some of the settings if you do not know what to do most of these settings can be done in within windows itself so we will not waste time and we will just proceed with the installation we will click next username is your own name you have to enter your own CD key I can't show you mine I will enter mine and edit it away this is the name that your computer will use when it joins a network the settings for the date and time if it is wrong you can click on every single one of them and key in the correct number using the keyboard regional settings choose your correct region nothing to set here just click next ok work group not much of a major problem just click next note that all these settings can be changed later on when you enter windows for all the networking settings usually if you subscribe to internet it comes with the installation CD installing that the program itself will write the correct settings for you into those settings so there's nothing to set at all when you start the installation of windows Now you are already reaching the end of the format. The installation is about to be complete. Again it will go down for a reboot and you will not hit any key. Remember do not hit any key unless you want to restart all over again. It automatically detects a better resolution and you just click OK to allow it to auto set a better screen resolution if you click cancel you only end up with a much bigger display the fonts will be a lot bigger in other words not optimized for your display as you can see you are done with the installation but there are still some little settings to go through the usual welcome message it tries to guide you along so just click next you know, all these updates usually I'll say no first because usually there's no internet connection right now so it's pointless for it to go and check for all this connectivity just skip and say no I'll do it later how many users are there so you type your own name if you want to add another one just type another user or you can leave it as just one that will do no problem once you're done you already have your windows running Basically, the process is complete and your Windows is functioning.
well, a fresh installation. You just need to know how to install all your drivers, all your software, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed the videos from www.diycomputerrepairs.com.